Hello everybody, welcome in. We're gonna be doing a short tutorial here today on one common problem that you'll run into quite often with the Industries DLC. Now, uh, before we get into it, I do wanna say I am still planning on doing the comprehensive Industries DLC playthrough. Uh, we're gonna be talking about everything there is to know about Industries DLC, everything from the production values to supply chain management to proper layout of your city to ensure optimal traffic flow. We're going to be going into a, a huge amount of detail on it in an upcoming probably four or five part series. So just wanted to break that up and bring that out. Uh, if you guys enjoy City Skylines, I do stream it over on Twitch. You're more than welcome to check me out. Lemon Pops course over there. And uh, yeah, Cities in a Snap event. The competitive Cities in a Snap event that we did last month, huge success. We're going to be doing that again in August, too. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, feel free to uh, leave a comment or something. I'll give you some more information or check it out on Twitch. So here's the issue. We have our oil industry over here and we have our ore industry over here. This is our electronics factory. The electronics factory requires plastic, glass and metals to produce electronics which are unique goods, generic unique goods that get shipped out. And uh, in order to help the supply chain, a lot of times you'll try to put warehouses a little bit closer or something like that to hopefully supply these factories. But you'll notice that it still runs out. And uh, you'll be sitting here thinking, God, I got a metals warehouse right here. I've got a glass warehouse right here. I've got plastics right here. Why is it not delivering to right here from right here? It's, it's very frustrating. Well, here's the issue. Anytime a truck leaves a warehouse, it takes a right-hand turn out of its path. And it will go down this road, and it will go across here, and it will go out this road, and it will go a long, long ways. I don't even know where it goes. I didn't even bother stopping to track it. But it goes somewhere else before it turns around and comes back if that's the shortest route if that's the closest delivery point. But because of whatever route it's calculating, it's just simply not delivering from this warehouse. It's actually delivering from one of these little metal producers over here. The reason for this is it's actually calculating a shorter travel distance to go around this loop, around this way, up here and around to drop off here, staying on the correct side of the road, than it is to go from here to here. So one simple way to fix this is to provide a shorter route. By doing this little road here, we've just created a much shorter route if it does decide to come over from the rotary kiln plant over here. This is going to help keep this mostly topped off. It may take a couple cycles for the trucks to, to update, um, but it should keep it mostly updated. Now, one other thing you can do to fix this really easily, I'm not going to wait for it to go because we don't want to waste a lot of time here, but I do promise this works, is by moving this to the right-hand side of the road, because as we were just discussing, the trucks always go on the right-hand side. Well, even if they were trying to come from over here and take this little road up and go over here, they still won't turn across and go into the factory. Now, they'll all turn down here, go down this road, go down the right side and deliver straight here. We've just shortened the amount of distance that it has to travel to deliver goods by like 50%, which is going to increase the amount of materials that get here successfully. So following along with that idea, in order for this metals warehouse to actually deliver there, it's got to go around this whole loop and come back. Actually, it can't even. It, it literally can't. It would have to go down here, turn right, come back down this way and go over here, which who knows with this AI whether it's going to actually do that. So again, you can simply move it over to the same side of the road and now all the trucks that come out going to the right will take themselves straight over here to this factory and this thing will never, ever, ever run out of materials. Never, ever, ever, ever. It gets close but I haven't seen it do it yet. I sat here for about 30 minutes before I started this video and watched it. That little fix, one little road, and moving your stuff to the other side of the street solves everything. One other thing you can do too, and I highly recommend this as a general philosophy, we're, we're gonna get into that a lot more in the actual in-depth series, is taking these and putting these down side roads so that when they come out to a main road, 
they can choose whether to go left or right. And same thing with these. You'll want to put these on a side road, not on an actual main avenue like this. Like this is not a well laid out area. This is a better example. And uh, I'm going to be explaining to everybody how to build this. We're going to actually put this map on the warehouse. I created this map for this tutorial series for the industries. And we're going to put this on the, where, on the uh, workshop so that you guys can download it, play along, uh, you know, learn how to make these circular cities. We'll go over how to do that and how, how all that stuff's done. Uh, yeah, but, but that's pretty much the tutorial. That's what I wanted to show you guys today. Oh God, I'm, I'm eating my own words here. Sometimes, like I said, it does take a couple cycles for a to update, uh, before it starts running smoothly, but those little fixes will help you out a ton. You'll notice now we have an overabundance of metals versus uh, under abundance and that I mean, right there pretty much speaks volumes for, for what's going on here. The plastics warehouse is still suboptimally placed. It's, it's still over here. So it does tend to run a little low on plastics more than glass. But uh, yeah. Should be good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like I said, it takes a couple cycles. It takes a couple cycles. <laughs> Either way, trust me on this. It does work. We'll, we'll all even hang out here for another minute so we can make sure it works before I even publish this video. Because I don't want to put this out and be wrong about this. I'm pretty sure. It will get low, but it won't go out entirely. So we'll see. With the glass on this side, everything on this side. Plastics was able to top off, glass tops off. You can see there, it does get very low, but it does keep flowing. And as long as you have good traffic flow in between point A and point B, you'll never have an issue. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate your time and definitely stick around. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see the full in-depth industries tutorial that we're going to do where we're going to cover everything, everything there is to know. If you want to know perfect supply chain, everything, we're going to do it. So thank you again for watching. You guys have a great day.